Hi, I'm Rebecca Renier. Here's what's on the plate today. We're going to take your workout outside. Some benefits of going out in the open air to work out. Also, we're going to show you two women who have lost a ton of weight through running, and we're going to do push-ups. Finally, just in case you totally hate this show, we're going to add some veggies. Stay with us. Welcome to the program. I'm so glad you're here. Okay, it's probably warmer where you are. Spring has sprung. We want to talk about today a little bit getting outside for your workout and a man who has made it his business to go in the outdoors to get moving. What are we started with? Yeah, just we're going to start with the right arm. It's going to be an arm curl with an Arnold press. Okay. Dan Fitzer is a fitness trainer who was noticing a common complaint from his clients. A lot of the people that come to me at the studio say, gee, it would be great if uh, we could work out outside. So Fitzer, or Fitz as he's known, created special equipment and classes for his training business. Fitness on the move is taking the gym outside. I think the true advantage again is that you get people outside, getting them excited about exercise. That's the key. Fitz tailors the outdoor classes for any age and any fitness level, and his clients say it's re-energized their exercise. Oh, it's beautiful outside. When I work out indoors, it's just kind of boring and you look at the same thing. I mean, look around us, we've got beautiful green trees and green grass and, and the air is so pure and fresh. It, it's just, it's invigorating. But uh, perhaps one, one of Fitz's most inspiring yeah, client is 86-year-old Shirley Kirshner. Here's how she describes go. fitness on the move and working out outdoors. Well, I, well, this is a wonderful adventure. I like this. I think this is wonderful. She says staying fit with Fitz helps her pursue her other interests. It's, that it's fun. It's not a chore. It's not drudgery. It's not something that I have to do. It's something I enjoy doing. So it's a difference in attitude. And a difference in environment. If you can keep their interest levels up, chances are they'll stick with their exercise program. Isn't that awesome? It's a difference in attitude. She's 89 years old and she loves her outdoor workouts. Okay, so what I want to talk about now, the outdoors is great. A lot of things that you're avoiding right now, maybe an exercise, one of the chief things people avoid are push-ups. I know, I hate push-ups. They're really hard, uh, but we're going to talk about why you should do push-ups. According to Live Strong, which is where I got some of this information, when you do push-ups, you increase your strength, obviously. They work all the muscles in your upper body if you do push-ups. I know you don't want to. Metabolism, another really important thing is your physical exertion forces your heart to work harder when you do one push-up, and this increases the amount of calories you're burning all day. I know, so you want to bump up your metabolism by doing a push-up. And even though we hate it, the third reason that you want to do a push-up is because when you can do three sets of 25 push-ups, you're BA. I'm not going to say what that is, but you are if you can do those push-ups. So we're going to bring Bill Decker in. He is a personal trainer, fitness expert. Good to see you, Bill. See you. Okay, so I'm... I'm going to ask you why should we, you know, anybody can do push-ups, right? Yes. Sir. Okay. I'm taking off my sexy shoes and putting on some tennis shoes because I can't do push-ups in these. I can only host a TV show in these. All right. So I want to do the perfect push-up. If okay. I have never done a push-up, do I start with lady push-ups? Well, what do you mean by lady push-ups? Like with my bent knees, okay? Well, I don't like to refer to it as lady push-ups because I think, you know, okay. I've seen a lot of women out there who can do push-ups better than most guys. Right. So I okay. think so what starting do you do? with knee push-ups okay. is the most beneficial. Knee push-ups. Yes. Okay, so you show uh, me what you mean. Okay. So, wait till you get your shoes on here. Okay, keep talking. It's TV. Okay. <laughs> so what you want to do is start... Like I like to do a lot of yoga, so I think mm -hmm. it's important to kind of start down in what they call the child pose here, mm -hmm. and then from there you can kind of get your form and just lean forward, Okay. keeping your hips down uh -huh. and your hands just above where your shoulders would be if you're a beginner. Okay, and that's then, the biggest question I have is where you put your hands. Well, there's lots of different schools of thought on that. I think for beginners the most important thing is to get them usually aligned with your shoulders. Aligned with your shoulders, yep. okay. And then what we're going to do is take you back, your elbows back about a 30 degree angle backwards. Okay. Coming through there, then pushing through your chest and your shoulders, driving up. Okay. 
All right, so now you, I have to try. I have to get in the right form, right? Okay. That is the knee push-up. That's the knee push-up. All right, so let's say I've graduated from that. Okay. Okay. All right. And I want hands like this, right? Hands like Shoulders. that. Shoulders. Let's start you leaning. Get your knees back a little bit. Back. Back a little okay. bit here. Okay, now scoot your hands. Just inch them a little bit forward like a little worm. Okay. Okay, now extend uh -huh. your hips. Now bring your hips down. That's the big thing when people start to do push-ups. Okay. Is that they start to get their hips to butt really high. Can I move my hands a little forward? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, there yeah, you go. Do what makes you comfortable. That That's the first one. That makes me more comfortable. Align your finger uh -huh. forward, okay? And keep the pressure. Okay. So they're pointing forward. Pointing forward, yep. Okay. Keeping the pressure uh -huh. on your palms and kind of equally distributed through your hands. Now okay. from here, with your hips down, uh -huh. elbows back about that angle. Oh, I can't do it. No? Okay, I gotta move up. Yeah, okay. Elbows back there, and then pushing through your chest. Okay. Going through there. Let's okay. See, let's see you do it again. Right there, and push up. Okay. Yep, and you want to keep getting down where your arms are about parallel with the ground. You don't necessarily have to touch your chest to the ground. Mm -hmm. But see, you're kind of feeling it already. I'm feeling it. <laughs> yep. Okay. Yeah, there okay. you go. But it kind of hurts my knees. Yeah, well, you can always use a pad, a towel, okay. or lots of different things. All right, so let's say I graduate from my lady push-ups. I mean my knee push-ups. Okay. But I like calling them lady push-ups. Okay, so you show me the show me the man push-ups. Well, I think the best push-up comes from a guy named Mark Twight out in okay. Salt Lake City. Now, I think the best one is to get right here with your feet slightly separated and your uh -huh. shoulders really arched over your hands and on okay. your toes. And you're gonna come down, bring your hands out, clap the ground, come up and push back up. Because doing like that, you really can't cheat on them. Oftentimes you'll see people do like this or this or the arch one way or the other. Right. And that's not really beneficial. So what you want to do, feet slightly there, not so much here, so you dip your butt mm -hmm. more here, down, push. So every up. time you do that? Every time. That's going to make it really hard. Well, that's the point. <laughs> you want to do, you know, quality okay. over quantity. So you okay. want to do, you know, what's going to be the most beneficial for you. Okay. So then you've also, how many should we start with? Three good ones, four good ones? You know, I'd say go to max repetition of whatever your best quality is. You know, when your quality starts to suffer and you lose the integrity of the movement, I'd say stop. All right, so show me then what you've got a couple of, if we want to go to the next level. Well, there's a couple different things here and these are only for injuries, okay? So oftentimes people would do push-ups and they don't do them because it hurts their elbows, their wrists, their joints, their back, whatever. Okay, so you can use a different apparatus to do your push-ups on rather than just the floor, mm -hmm. okay? So these are perfect push-ups. They're the name brand one. Mm -hmm. You can go these, you can go a knockoff brand, okay? And when you do these, these rotate, mm -hmm. okay? So you can go from a neutral or a pronated grip, okay? And then you can go from here, you can twist them, okay. push up, okay? Or you can start here, twist back. So that will take some pressure off your scaphoids and your metacarpals, all the little bones in your hands and everything. So that's one way you can do them to avoid pain through there and through the um, epicondyle in your elbow. Right. Okay, so that's one avenue. Another one, these are shark stands. Feel that, that's kind of padded and light. Okay, right, soft. So these are a little more comfortable to do as well. Now these, especially on a hardwood floor, you can do a little more horizontal abduction, okay? Which is what you usually do That sounds to... kind of private. <laughs> that's what you really do to engage your pectoral muscles. All okay, right. so usually when people do push-ups, they think they're doing it because they're gonna work their chest. That's not necessarily true, okay? You're mainly working your shoulders, your triceps, and everything, okay? All right. But when you do a horizontal abduction, okay, you can come out, let's say here, start wide and slippery, okay? Right. And move them in as you do your push-up and move them out, okay? So you can do that with a paper plate, carpet movers, lots of different things. <laughs> These aren't necessarily made to do that with. All right. But so we're gonna we're running out of time in the segment. Okay. We're gonna start with the knee push-ups. We should do three perfect ones. That should be our goal. As many as you can do with perfect form. Yes. All right. And get up to hundred a day, and then we'll be Herschel Walker or look like you. <laughs> right? All right, thank you. Thank you very much. All right, when we come back, we're gonna go from push-ups to running. I know, it's so fun!